right so today what we have is a digital film scanner for all you negative now for 35 millimeter 126 110 and even super 8 for the slice as well too it's nice because if you scan a regular picture it still looks good you have to own a scanner but all we have in the master is the best having the films you able to get every detail and the nice thing is now you can make this into a jpeg easy to use one man it scans automatic save into the memory and the same now you can share all those beautiful pictures but well, we need to do that today with this machine How are we doing everyone? My name is Dario from MediaBoxNT.com and today I'm going to show you an open box, some details of this beautiful digital scanner for your films. We're going to do that uh, right now. All right, so to save some time, we just remove out of the bags and I want to show you what we get. Well, first it's nice. We get the HDMI cable, full side cable, the connection if you connect it right your PC and also as well to charger, power supply, five volts, through usb yeah, right there you can display this connect it right if you have a, a tv that supports an analog regular video we can use that as well too to clean your films and then all the adapters like guess if you have super a we can insert this through here if we send the film so here is a super a 35 millimeter slice that goes through this side now they have a different adapters here if we look into and by the way a full manual here and with different languages so we're not going to go over the configuration in a second so let me see here so if you get the neck of it so here it says 35 millimeters 126 and 110 what type of adapters you need so you need number two so this is a number two adapter so let's look here and side up and where it goes through here and you insert it there so can, we can do see if you got 126 you use the number one adapter that's the number one adapter 135 at 126 k pack number one and you have all the adapters you need to use for each different films show you have that insert Right, so depends the case we have right there, and then we can add the different adapters. You narrow there, and that's going to be here, right? And then we like this up. So one case allow you to use a different adapter with different films. All right, so let's take a look at the scanner. So here we have the LCD. We can move this up and down. Now, the selection of the buttons. I show you later on how the whole thing works: on, off, scan, and home. Well, I should already show you that we can scan by putting the cartridge into the side, but the back video output, analog video output, your memory card, right? Insert your memory there. Now, USB if you want to connect it around your computer, and the HD, um, HDMI output if you want to connect it right into your display. All right, so let's apply power, let's turn it on comes up and that's the first menu we get here so gallery capture settings and help so we need let's go over some of the settings here settings we got the film type you can also download the application uh, the structures are in the manual so you can uh, connect the wi-fi and i show you i'm going to go back here you can set the wi-fi so you can capture it and upload it around your phone upload if you're going to connect it around your computer resolution type so let's select so you have 14 megapixels or 22 you can want 22 and select let's get back over here memory let's select here let's show you the memory and how many you can put i think i put a 16 gigabyte you can put uh, 2390 uh, pictures depends on the memory oh it's four four gigabytes there right to show you how many you can put here let's go back to there the lcd brightness so we select right and we can make it much brighter or darker 
let's go back language and you have french italian dutch and spanish all right keep select there let's go back now film type upload so my next thing or the one let's go back home and go setting back again in the first it's a film type you're going to select and there are a few uh, selections here I'm black and white simple black and white uh, negative here so we can click select 35 126 k and 10 so it depends depends what you select right and keep it here a uh, color 110 right and the meter film type we can come back and go there and we can change it all right so we're going to go back into home and let's do a try it up so we're going to go back settings film type and let's go to the slide so we're going to go there by select so here we have a 136 what is it pack 110 super a and a millimeter i do have an a millimeter super a so we're going to go here and let's select super a right give you the film type information right and select you can go back here or just press home and that's the easy way to get back there so we can click um, capture capture show you what it's going to be inserted right over here right so let's select that for now so we're going to use adapter for a millimeter super a and make sure it goes through the track all right we got it push this back a little bit let's go through here let's push it forward we catch it right the other side now we got it go forward and when you're ready in this case i want to take this first picture you see your picture remember i'm going to capture more right there we click scan so that's what we want all right let's click scan done and the same way will be if you do 35 millimeter and we can go that way right this is if you want to take a pictures from a super eight that's done i'm going to go back home gallery select and now i'm going to go over the picture now from here we can delete you can rotate there's a lot of things you can change here that's one i scan and the other one you see that so imagine right away you can scan and remember you can put this this way if you want and also you can display this right and right uh in a in a tv or anything that has an hdmi input or, or you can use a regular and uh, analog cable if you want all right so guys if you see it's pretty simple to use just press button and scan it and from my own opinion i think that is the best way to do it it's just insert a memory card and then scan it right into memory card that's it scan it there you have a nice display you can see that all the time and then you can just take the memory out and put it right on your computer you can always uh, use the what they call it the upload and through the through the connector right in the pc but it gets a little complicated also you can use your phone if you want by scanning by scanning the application but for me if you're looking to save time and do something like fast pace here dump it into the memory and then take the memory out put it on your computer and you're done all right guys to buy one of these uh, film scanner i'll leave the link right below this video i'll see you next time bye